Hello guys, I'm back here. You can see a typical installation of a pump, centrifugal pump. And now I will give you some comments related to this kind of installation. Isolation valve, we always have an isolation valve for the pump. Always have an isolation valve for the start of the pump. And we have here a strainer to prevent the debris or big size of particles to get inside the impeller. Something that is interesting to take attention is the sequence or the series of installation of some fittings. For instance, we have the isolation valve, we have the manometer where you can identify the flow of the, the pressure of the discharge of the pump and here we have a, a check valve. So this is the, these main components usually you find in any installation. But I prefer to not use this kind of sequence. In my point of view, what's, uh, what fits better is the isolation valve downstream of the check valve. Because if I have some kind of stuck or impingement in this if I block the check valve, I can close my isolation valve and with that do the maintenance of all of the system. Another thing is that although it is a, a bow valve, as much as possible you should add your manometer close to the discharge of the pump because you will do the calculation of your head of the pump considering the nozzle in the suction and the nozzle in the discharge of the pump. So if I could have a pressure differential indicator here or two taps for a manometer, I could verify with more accuracy how is the head of the pump. And with the pump curve, verify how is the amount of flow running through that. So guys, this is it. I hope you like it and I'll see you soon in the next video. Bye bye.